welcome back to the channel yeah <laughs> and today we have a very special figure we have legacy breakdown so i just got this earlier within the day we got that wonderful doorbell from the mailman and he said here you go have fun <laughs> and lo and behold i opened the small box and i have breakdown this is the last piece of our stunticon legacy stunticons look at that that looks great yep he is a repaint and a retool so well just a little retooling of uh wild rider so this is exactly wild rider the transformation the shape everything is wild rider you just have several things added to it so number one you have this spoiler which kind of acts like a shield or a blade i guess and the drawback is that you only get one teeny tiny blaster right there um other than that let's take a look at the face sculpt the face sculpt looks great focus on that I notice as well that there is light piping, but it's covered by some yellow paint. So maybe I'll scrape that off and use the light piping because I'm a big fan of the light piping. So articulation, let's talk about that. You got your usual waist articulation for modern Transformers. You have thigh swivels. You have them ankle tilts. Bend the knee over here. You can put it like so. You have arm swivels. You don't have wrist swivels because that needs to flip in. That's a transformation need. Um, other than that, the head rotates. And yeah, it's, it's pretty much a very articulate uh, figure. And talking about the paint, the paint really is just plain white. Um, I was hoping and I was kind of afraid that it would be like dirty white. Kind of like what happened with the old... Uh, what do you call this uh, breakdown? So let's take a look at that really quick. Now I will not remove this anymore. But if you take a look at that, that's not really yellowing. But that is really the color of Combiner Wars breakdown. And as you can see, it's far more whiter than the uh, Combiner Wars breakdown. So this is... Your Combiner Wars Menasaur right there. We're going to have that little bit. So let's just take a look at that guy over there. And very, very different from the Combiner Wars figure. Um, the blue really stands out. I love the red on the face. Again, awesome job with the detailing on the wheels right there. So like what we have mentioned, let's take this out of the way. We mentioned that this is just a repaint of Wild Rider. So if we go side by side with his buddy Wild Rider, you will see that the difference would be from the chest and of course the head, you know, the sculpt of the head. You know, we have Wild Rider who's a little more menacing looking, evil looking. We got Breakdown who's a little more stylish and cool, right? And then you have the chest part you have these sections right here that are more you know rectangular and then you have this i don't know why i have that though so this is this could be like a factory defect because i have that thing over there hairline scratcher I'm, I'm not sure it's lining there are a lot of things and flaws about this so when you get your figure most likely it's going to be polished well nice um the paint was too thick on this one so when i placed it in Metasaur mode and it took it out it kind of scraped off some of the paint not the end of the world though okay um let's take a look side by side again so side similar very similar sections right there even the wheels are very similar even the grooves on the car mode are very similar you would think that they would turn it into a porsche but no like it's like a porsche or was it a Porsche? No, it's a Lamborghini. Sorry, sorry. Again, my, my bad. Um, not really that great with cars, but it's, I think it's a Lamborghini. Um, this would have been really more aerodynamic and swoop. You know, the the hood would like to, uh, like just really go down. But it's pretty much the same. It is the same. 
Uh, let's go to the leg section. Look at that. It's a little different because you would see the holes here are down near the ankle area while the, t the holes would be near the thigh area. That's needed because when we transform this thing in a bit. Um, but other than that, it's pretty much the same. Other than the grooves on this are a lot more... Look at that. The grooves are a lot more bigger and thicker. This one's thinner and slimmer. So that's just really the difference right there. Um, the transformation is absolutely identical. I guess that they need that because it's going to be the same section or the leg section of Menasaur. So everything really transforms the same. But before we transform this guy, let's have him together with the rest of his buddies. So let's have Motor Master. There you go. Let's have Drag Strip. And of course we have Dead End. What's that? <laughs> What's wrong with you, drag strip? There you go, buddy. Hooray! Everyone's complete. Yeah, rock and roll. They're all complete. That is just one awesome looking Stunticon crew. Just really fantastic. Hasbro did a fantastic job with this. I'm liking it. Well done. Love the final piece. It is just really stunning to see all five stunticons together in one group shot so there you go awesome looking crew so we're going to take a quick pause and transform our final fifth stunticon into his vehicle mode stay tuned righty we're back and we have breakdown in his robot mode so let's get him transformed into his car mode which is very easy if you know how to transform wild rider pretty much it's the same so we start off with the fist flip them down and then connect the arms like so and just pull them up right there next thing you want to do just open the chest and flip the head in and that's pretty much it now before we put this up right there rotate the legs and then you can open this section, open this section, and then just flip this whole assembly like so. There you go. And then flip this whole assembly like so. And snap that in, snap together, and then just bring this two sections down push these arms in and before we get him into car mode so pretty much if you're going to look at this which is I'm going to try to angle that this is going to be the leg which you will see later but just flip this down and flip this down and that is breakdown now you want to put the spoiler here which begs the question what do you put this so I, I don't really see any port where you could we could put this in so it's a uh, it's a little big question mark right now so it's he's the only one who does not have like a mounted weapon in the vehicle mode so most of these cars would have mount, we mounted weapon um, in vehicle mode so that's that's just really a downer um, although there's this section right here I'm trying to find a way to groove it in somewhere but I really couldn't so that is a mystery to me now if you ever find that out put that in the comment section below It'll be really uh, happy and appreciate that if you could tell me how to do that but that's pretty much it you have this weapon right here now let's set that aside and get a quick comparison with his combiner wars version as you can see the combiner wars version is a bigger 
wider breakdown and it's definitely a Lamborghini so you have that very uh, aerodynamic a little dirty but aerodynamic shape you have these really nice lights this is yeah, pretty plain looking um, kind of like the design on this versus this because it's just really a copy of Wild Rider try to focus on that it's just really white Wild Rider so it's a white version of Wild Rider now speaking of that let's have it Wild Rider together there you go it is pretty much the same see the only thing different is just really the paint but everything is the same I mean, you have the spoiler to make it a little different but it's pretty much the same it kind of saddens me about that but still happy though because it's complete and it's a nice it's a it's a nice figure I mean it's it's not bad you know it really rolls well too I like it so let's have dead end there we go dead end do 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 and you have drag strip look at that really nice colors from our legacy stunticon team of course let's not forget about their leader motor master of course we don't have the trailer because i don't want to transform that whew big pile of <laughs> uh what do you call this a uh, kibble right there but you got motor master and his crew right there that looks fantastic that looks amazing there you go so we're going to take a final pause and transform these guys into the mighty menace we'll be right back Right, folks, we're back and we have a semi transformed Menasaur. You have Menasaur Motor Master, I mean, in his torso mode and his leg mode right there. So, all we have to do now is just pretty much fill in the blanks and connect the other parts together. So, what you want to do is you want to take breakdown and, of course, flip out the windshield and then just take the front part and transform it like so, so that you can connect it to this section. So, you have these ports right here kind of very same like uh, the one that you have for Wild Rider just punch it in and this thing is tight really tight now one thing that I'm going to tell you is that this is this could be my copy but it's extremely tight and it's very hard to remove so the paint makes that really really thick the next thing you want to do is, of course, get Wild Rider, who's already transformed in his leg mode. Place him over here. There you go. Really snug fit for Wild Rider. Easy. No prob. And now, you have the legs of... I'm trying to focus. Legs of Menasaur right there. There you go. Um, really don't know where to place this so we're going to try to find a way to put that later but this is the back view of that and it looks good but a lot of people really have mentioned that it, I, they wish that they have this kind of configuration which I am not blaming them because you can see the design so unless there's a third party company that would make like reverse ankles or reverse knee joints then you know ratchets for that then that would be really great but you, you can't really see that marvelous design right there because it's down at the back <laughs> it's covered the good thing though is that you now have a very flush leg section although this seems to be not opening for me but that's again not the end of the world so let's finish it up by putting our two remaining sections right here let's put our favorite right there you got dead end and of course his buddy drag strip and bada bing bada boom let's give him a sword you have ladies and gentlemen you have a complete legacy there you go let's try to zoom out you have a complete legacy menasaur check that out 
that looks fantastic really really happy about it zero sleep worth it <laughs> i'm supposed to sleep now because my job is going to be a little later but i am just super stoked and happy i think not sleeping for the next shift is going to be all worth it so let's bring in his combiner wars counterpart uh try to just angle that and there you go the tale of two menasaurs there you have it folks and just for some added kick let's bring in our very kind of dust, dusty oversized legends class deformed auto man menasaur honestly the sword on this thing is just really far more better than that so i'll probably give the sword to him later on but other than that they look just absolutely stunning together a trio of menasaurs there you go absolutely fantastic let's set this aside i'm just going to try to put OS deformed auto man down the back and let's put this guy down here so I know he's going to keel backwards and let's have our final say with Legacy Menasaur. Um, it's been a doozy, it's been a ride, it's been an amazing collecting of these five figures in the past few months but overall it's been really worth it. Uh, the size and the sheer bulkness of the Menasaur figure is just really, really amazing. And it, it's just really something that would be very reminiscent to a G1 figure. Um, flaws aside, you know, counting the breakdown is just really the same as Wild Rider. I mean, they could have really gone the, the Lamborghini route, but... Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not complaining. I mean, I'm happy. It's complete, right? But other than that, I think he is definitely something that you want to have in your collection. That is a stunning figure. It's something that everybody, you know, like if, if you have like a shelf and they pass that, whoa, that is something cool. That is just going to be a talking point. That's going to be a conversation piece for everybody. So it is something that I would definitely recommend um we know that there's something uh the g2 version coming out or it's already out i think there's the black drag strip dark strip or something like that and then there's bound to be some other recolors of these guys soon so we'll try to get our, uh, our hands on that pretty much but that is pretty much it for us overall i'm very happy uh, i would rate this as a confident 8.5 all the way maybe to a nine but but other than that, we are definitely waiting and hoping that Hasbro has something in store for us with other combiners, such as Bruticus. We have, uh, what do you call this, uh, a lot of other combiners that may benefit from the new technology that they're coming out. Um, we also have, I'm not really a big fan of the Constructicons, you know, we have too many Constructicons, but... Um, maybe Bruticus or, um, like, I'm thinking of other, but Predaking, perhaps a new reissue of Predaking would be nice. Um, we, uh, we definitely want to see Autobots like Superion and, uh, Defensor. Um, but hopefully, hopefully we get a lot of other other combiners in the future that's pretty much it for us folks that's the all the, all the time that we have for today i gotta sleep we gotta take a rest i'm just happy we got it complete yes so for those folks that have not subscribed yet subscribe to the channel click that subscribe button and for those who have subscribed don't forget to continue to support us thank you thank you thank you thank you you are the best you make these things happen and all right folks and that's all the time that we have remember till all are one Peace out. Rock and roll.